Bonjour! Let's fake God Rays aka Volumetric Lights. It's fast and pretty tweakable. Add a cylinder, scale down the top, remove the circles, shade it smooth. Weird shading, add some loop cuts. We turned a cylinder into a dunce cap. Now how's that for social commentary? That's modeling done. Let's shade. Make some noise. Quick tip for 3ds Max users, take a shower once in a while. Now this noise will add texture to our rays, therefore it needs to be ray shaped. Make it subordinate to the texture coordinate, order it and use the normal input and that's sort of it. Only two notes, but I'd say they convey a straight fake ray pretty okay in this way. Now let's shift our attention to some settings. Our light rays should not block light and throw shadows. So if you are an EV, go to the shader settings and disable shadows. Also set the blend mode to alpha blend. In cycles you can go to the object properties and pretty much turn off everything but camera invisibility. The principled BDSM doesn't need reflections, so turn the specular to zero. It's light, so we will use emission and turn the base color black, so it's ignoring incoming light. Now, finally, we will feed the noise into the alpha. Where the input is black, it will turn transparent. And with a mix color node in multiply mode, we can stack masks and gradually remove everything we don't like. The geometry node, that's the node called geometry, not the modifier, has a back face output. Let's invert it. Now the back faces are black faces and can be removed by multiplying it, as I explained. That sounded racist, but it wasn't. The generated output from our texture coordinate can give us a gradient from top to bottom if we separate the z-axis. This requires the cylinder to be vertical, so only rotate it in object mode and don't apply the rotation. Color ramp. Add a handle and make it black. Now with this black-white-black -black situation, we can fade out bottom and top via another multiplication. We're getting close. The layer weight works great to fade out the faces that are perpendicular to the camera view. Use the facing output, invert it, multiply it, tweak it. Don't underestimate how nice it looks to give your light a little color. Please turn the noise texture to 4D, wiggle the W slider, it makes the light go Add a value node, type in hash frame divided by 100. This will now grab the current frame and divide it by 100, so it's not insanely fast. Plug it into the W. Set the math node to multiply to control the speed. Zero is no movement, two is twice as fast. Lastly, get an object info node, multiply the random output with a high value, add that to our construct and now every ray will be a little different when duplicated. I also made a fun geometry nodes version of this for my patrons. Want to see even worse content? Go subscribe! Also make even more fun of my pronunciations in the comments. I haven't cried in like a year or so.